Hello everyone, this is Vrishali and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In previous session, we discussed about static routing and dynamic routing with examples. I have mentioned a complete computer network subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss the next topic that is distance vector and link state routing. Let's start the session. At the end of this session, you should learn about what exactly routing, the examples of distance and link state routing, and difference between that. At the end, we will discuss a question bank. Now, the first point is what exactly routing. As we discussed earlier, in computer network, there are multiple devices are present, and all these devices are connected with each other. They share packets and information with each other. Now, in computer network, there are routing algorithms. These routing algorithms are used to find out the efficient path or shortest path between source and the destination. They find out path according the distance, traffic and available bandwidth between the devices. Due to routing algorithm, they optimize the network performance and also at minimum time, accurate information has sent towards the destination. There are total four types of routing algorithm, static routing, dynamic routing, that we already discussed in previous session and distance vector routing and link state routing. Now let's discuss these two types one by one. Now the first is what exactly distance vector routing. See this routing algorithm are used to find out the shortest path between the two communicating devices. There are two main terms. One is distance. Another one is vector. Distance means number of hopes number of cost or distance between the two routers and vectors means a particular direction or next node for example see here in this particular diagram suppose client c want to send information to the server s now in between that multiple routers are present this routers connected multiple networks with each other now router r1 send information to the router r4 okay so r2 and r4 these are the neighbors node which is called as vector, the next node. And distance means distance between R1 to R4 and R4 to R5. So distance vector routing algorithm use routing information protocol to find out the shortest path. And also they use Bellman Ford algorithm to calculate the distance between the routers. Now these are the some working steps. As per that working steps, suppose there is a R1. So router 1 generates the routing tables. They find out the neighbor's node and their distance. Suppose R1 send information to the R4. So router R4 received those routing table and again update those routing table and send routing table to the R5 as per the shortest path, shortest distance. R5 again check the routing table, update the distance and send information to the server. So this is a particular path like R1 to R4, R4 to R5. Now, let discuss this working with examples. See here in this particular examples, there are total five routers are present. Consider that router A, B, C, D and E. And it mentioned the distance between that routers. For example, router A to router E, the distance is five in this way. Now, the first step is you need to initialize the distance table. First, the source node is router A. So router A generate a routing table. This routing table has total three columns like destination, distance and hope. For example, A to A, the distance is zero. Now A to B, there is no direct path is present. So the distance is called as infinity. A to C, again no direct path is present. It is mentioned as infinity. A to D is also an infinity. And A to E, the distance is five. And hope enter the next node, means A to E. The first node is A and A goes to E node in this way, right? Now this routing table A sent to the E. So now this router E again generated a routing table as per their neighbor's node or neighbor's node distance. See here, suppose E to A, this distance is 5, E to B, this distance is 4, E to C, there is no direct path is present which mentioned as infinity. E to D that is 7 and E to E which is called as 0 right so what this table indicate that the distance between neighbors node then A 
this node goes to E and E goes to B as well as D node, right? So similarly, you have to repeat these all steps and design the routing table of each nodes are present in computer network. Now, this is your first step. In this way, you have to calculate routing table of B, C and D. Now in second step, in second step, you have to calculate the routing table of A to E. This is your first path, right? So calculate the distance between all the path that goes to A to E. For example, A, E, B, then A, E, D, then A, E, D and C in this way. Okay. So you have to calculate that distance. For example, C here. Suppose your destination node is A, right? So A to A distance always as a zero. Now A to B via E. So A, E and B. The distance is called as 9. 5 plus 4, 9. Now C. So A, E and C. There is no direct path is between that, right? So mention as infinity. Then A, E and D. The distance is 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. And A to E distance is called as 5. So similarly, you have to update this routing table as per the each pair. Okay. And after that, you will get the most efficient routing data. So in this way, distance vector routing generate the routing tables as per the each routers to find out the shortest path as per the neighbors. Okay. They calculate the distance of their neighbors and they find out shortest path between source to destination according to this format. Now, the next one is link state routing. So, in distance vector routing algorithm, you calculate the distance of immediate neighbors only, right? But in link state routing, you have to view of complete network. In link state routing, they exchange information about network topologies. Link state routing use Dijkstra's algorithm to calculate the shortest path and uh, shortest distance. And also, link state routing used OSPF that is open shortest path first protocol and intermediate service protocol to calculate a particular shortest path. Now, these are the some working steps of link state routing. Here, first, a particular router having a knowledge of neighborhood routers only. They discover the neighbor's router and measure the link, measure the distance between that. After that, every router create a link state packet. Link state packet means they store the neighbor's distance and neighbor's information in particular packet. The next one is flood LSP. Flood LSP means here router send this link state packet to all the other routers in network, which is called as flooding. And they ensure that every router get a complete view of the network, not only neighbor's view. So after that, each router build a complete topology map and they calculate the shortest path according to the Dijkstra's algorithm and at the end every router generate the routing table. So basically link state routing generally exchange information in all network topologies. Every router having the knowledge of all the other routers other nodes in network. Let understand with example. Okay see here in this particular example suppose in this particular network, you have to find out the shortest path between A to F. Okay. So manually how to find out C. First path is A, D, E and F. The distance between 1 plus 1, 2 and 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So A to F distance is called as 4. The another path is A, B, C and F. That is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. So this path the distance is 10 and this path distance is 4. So which is the shortest one? Fourth one, right? So this is the shortest path. So this is a manual calculation. But here in link state routing, they generate the routing tables to calculate the shortest path. First, you need to initialize the routers. See here in this particular table, the first source node is called as router A, right? So that is the nodes are given. The next is in link state routing, they not only calculate the neighbors, they calculate the distance with all the other nodes present in particular network like B, C, D, E and F. D means distance and P means next node. So here A start with A. Okay. So A to B, the distance is 2. Next is A to C, the distance is 5. Right. 
next a to d the distance is 1 now there is no direct path between a to e and a to f which mention as a infinity clear now which one is the shortest path one here right so a to d is the shortest one see here a to d is 1 this is the shortest path now you have to calculate the path by taking a d these nodes okay means c a d and b so the path is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 the next path is a d and c means 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 here right next is a d and e 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and remaining is infinity there is no direct path is present clear now which one is the shortest path e1 because it is 2 see here d2 is only 1 because it is the shortest one now you have to find out the shortest path according the a d and e by taking these three routers okay so see a d e this is your shortest one that is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so a d e and b so what is the shortest path 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 that is 3 e right a d e and c 1 1 1 so 3 e a d e up to c that is 3 distance is there right but your target is a to f so a d e and f so the longest a uh, shortest path is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 so 4 this is the shortest path between a to f so this is called as link state routing they link every node and calculate the shortest path next now there is a basic difference between distance vector and link state routing distance vector routing based on the local knowledge they find out the distance or information only for neighbors node but in link state routing they based on the global knowledge they find out the knowledge and information about entire network there is a link like a b e a b e c a b e d in this way right now distance vector routing use bell manifold algorithm it use links disastrous algorithm to calculate the shortest path here traffic is less here traffic is more because all the nodes are linked with each other here converges are slowly and here faster they fastly or accurately send information here count of infinity problem there is no count of infinity problems and distance vector routing the practical implementation is based on using RIP and IGRP protocols and link state routing we can use OSPF and ISIS protocol for practical implementation so this is a basic difference between that now as per your previous year question paper the main question is difference between dynamic vector and link state routing with examples for six marks so you have to prepare any six points with examples so this is all about thank you keep learning